Hello, I am Matthew Reed, an IT business user. In this video today, I am going to show you the new business user or the end user interface from CA Service Management, called the Service Point. I, as an end user, typically avoid reaching out to IT when in need of help. Instead, I prefer reaching out to my colleagues or researching on the internet due to the friction that IT creates. This friction starts off with the interface asking me to fill a form and select a relevant category before I can even get any help. I, as a business user, do not care much for these details as all I want is a quick resolution to my problems. Well, I am told by the product management team from CA Service Management, that I am not the only one who finds these interfaces challenging to use. Research proves that business users like me, avoid reaching out to IT. Well, I am glad I am not alone. I am eager to know how Service Point tackles these problems for me with capabilities like natural language processing for auto categorization, suggested solutions, predictive recommendations to improve my productivity by 125%. Let's explore, to understand how. The moment I log into Service Point, I am presented with few elements on the UI. The first one that catches my eye is the announcements and notifications that are waiting for me. The announcements ensure that I get to know of any outages my IT has set for me so that I can get self-help and do not end up creating unnecessary tickets for non-issues. What I also see at the bottom of my screen is a list of my open and resolved tickets, so that I can quickly access them, if needed, and also the list of assets that I own as a business user today. Apart, from these elements on the UI, what I notice right in the center is a huge help bar that invites me to reach out to IT for help. And right below this bar, I see some options that I can click and select. Well these are the top categories that are configured for me based on my past usage and ticket submission trends. I also see a more button here, but, let's explore the more button in just a bit. Let me first explain why I'm here today. I need three things from IT. First, my work Wi-Fi is not getting connected, so, I need help. Second, I am unable to receive emails since yesterday, and I need assistance from IT. Third, I need to raise a request for a new laptop. Let me start by typing my first problem of Wi-Fi not getting connected. The moment, I enter my problem, I see that Service Point has automatically allocated a corresponding category for me and presented to me a form, that I can use to quickly fill and submit my issue. But wait a minute, I see some suggested knowledge articles being presented to me on the right side. I see this one to be similar to my problem. By looking at the document, I think I can self-resolve my problem without having to raise a ticket. I will go ahead, and mark this as useful and move on. So, one of my problems is resolved with the self-serve capabilities of Service Point. I am excited already. Let me now try, and resolve my second problem for the day, that is, to fix the issue of not receiving emails since yesterday. Again, I can type my problem but I can also see that email has a bubble right below the search bar. Let me go ahead and click the email category. I looked at the knowledge articles, but, I think none can help me solve my problem. So, I will go ahead and submit a ticket. After my ticket is submitted, I can also see more details on the ticket timeline, filter it based on type of updates on timeline. I can also initiate chat with help desk to get more details. Let me initiate a chat and see what happens. The moment, I click the chat icon and try to reach out to an analyst, I see that I have been put in a waiting queue. On the other side, that is on the XFlow interface, I am told that the analysts can see my request. Once my request for chat is picked up, 
I can see the help desk responses coming in. There you go, I can have a live chat with the help desk, and get quicker resolutions to my problems. Now that my first two problems are taken care of, let me go ahead and raise a request for a new laptop. Aha, now I see that Service Point Auto categorizes a corresponding service that I can request for. I can now fill in the required details and submit my card for approval. Let me go back to the home screen to see where I can see this new request being updated. My recent tickets is one single place to see the list of my latest incidents and service requests at one go. There is one little thing I am forgetting, the more button, which I said we will revisit later. This option allows me to look at the featured offerings and services that are available to me via service catalog. I can go ahead and quickly select any service that I would like to request from this list. Alright, then that was a breeze. I am glad that I could complete all three things that I set out for via Service Point without dropping a sweat. I highly recommend you try Service Point as well. Signing off, Matthew Reed, a happy business user. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.